Welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Yvonne uh, from uh, Spiritual Tarot by Yvonne. And my channel uh, deals with um, uh, intuitive energy readings using uh, also the tarot as a tool. Uh, okay, and um, I also look at uh, royal uh, royal readings as well as uh, monthly tarot scopes. And uh, so, please, please um, subscribe to my channel. Uh, please like and and uh, please um, share and uh, enjoy the reading. Aquarius and welcome welcome to my channel and um, this is for April um, it is um, I've left it till last minute because it's the 1st of April tomorrow so um, let's have a look at your April reading and this is this is very much I feel to do with emotions to do with love here now I'm, I'm just going to pick up here uh, just pick up uh, what I feel intuitively here uh, first and, and then we'll move on to the card reading okay finances and love have some parallels if you're feeling stretched uh, ma uh, materially you can always make adjustments to your lifestyle it's it's tougher if you feel stretched emotionally or, or by your key friendships uh, feelings of this kind are natural warnings that suggest that you will benefit from rethinking aspects of your life hey, okay your recent endeavors have taught you that interpersonal relationships are not always the same as financial transactions uh, this month although uh, the old emotional investment uh, may be about to pay off here okay so whatever you've done in the past whatever you have invested in it looks like uh, this could pay off for you so let's have a look here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out um, I'm going to use my uh, medieval deck here and um, so the card, first card I get here is Aquarius, and I know that you're an air sign, but I do get here um, the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is an energy of emotions, okay, um, and this is, um, this person is very uh, loving, uh, maternal person and intuitive here. And I will put that there uh, in the center. So that that's the center of this reading is you being this very loving person here. And very empathic I get with the Queen of Cups. So the next card that I get here is what, what's covering this? There's like a little, there's a conflict here. And the conflict is um, is the Queen of, of Swords, which is you. The Queen of Swords is an air sign, male or female, okay. So there is a conflict of, of the air and the water. So some of you may have water in your chart here. But this person here is more objective and thinks with their head, is uh, very intellectual too. You may be even into teaching or something like that or uh, but I do get all that you like to teach people and there's a shrewdness around the queen of uh, a, the queen of swords okay so this is where you are conflicting the heart the head the heart the head kind of thing as I said at the beginning of this um, marrying the financial it's easy to to deal with the finances but when it comes to emotional and en endeavors it, it's more of a tougher kind of uh situation 
So if you are feeling stretched emotionally uh, by these key friendships or um, feelings of, of this kind are natural warnings. So this is a natural warning of this conflict here. This conflict of um, intrapersonal relationships are not always the same as financial transactions. So, and this could even be the man that you're dealing with. Um, very logical kind of uh, mindset, but the, there is there's also to take into account uh, not only um, financial uh, shrewdness, a wisdom, but also emotional intelligence. Okay. Now I do get um, because this this could be around work too. I get you building a business. Um, or, or building up your your career, uh, building strong foundations around this love because the the main thing here is love, uh, and building a strong foundation around this love here. Um, that's crowning this reading. So, you know the two, you can't go you can't have one without the other, and I feel to to have a, and most of many of you may disagree that you don't need money but this is not talking about abundance of money this is talking about um, uh, about creating a home creating a strong foundation here to and, and like an investment you've invested in this love situation or this uh, this situation you have lovingly invested you've been shrewd about this because you've been building up these foundations and I also get that you may say to yourself here um, you may say to yourself gosh that reminds me of that song back years ago you may say to yourself if you remember who that is please let me know I, I don't know um, okay um, going back way back there to the 80s okay so this is um, you may say to yourself that I need to be shrewd I need to be logistic here in this this situation this is my life and um, uh, and although you're having you're the only one that's got this strong kind of it maternal emotional intelligence here uh, there is this kind of dealing with the finances here in April. So uh, the next card that I get here, and I'm pulling as I'm pulling out, it feels like you're carrying this. I get this for a lot of signs that you are carrying this burden. You have invested, and you are carrying this. You are carrying even carrying people here, carrying people. You have invested. You're carrying people. You can see this. It, this there is a light to the end of this tunnel here. So you keep going because I do get you are going to reach your uh, you are going to reach your goal here. You're very determined. Uh, there's success. There is victory over this. Uh, you are the leader. You're the leader. Everybody follows. Can you see that card? Everybody following. Uh, you are the leader and everybody follows. And that's how it's going to be into the future. Um, and the, the, these, the people around you may be thinking of these idiotic ideas that's going to take you off track here from, you know, from, this per from your purpose here. And you've worked hard. You've carried this. You've carried this. And they come up with these uh, air, air brain schemes here that you know this is going to take you way off, way off track. So you're 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 the leader. No, we're going to do it this way. We're going to do it my way or the highway. Now, why would I get that with you? It's because you know, you know. Yeah, I do get. As I was saying that, I get the full card. Okay, the full card, which is at the bottom of this this uh, reading. The full card is diverting. Oh no, that's silly. You see, they don't get it. And 
and I, I hear you saying a lot of guys don't get it they don't get it this is one of those situations where a, a man here or, 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 or somebody does not get this your investment your emotional investment your material investment here and you have the fool I do get the king of pentacles now this, this could be male or female okay so you're dealing with uh, an earth sign or somebody in with um, an earth kind of energy um, this person could be a work colleague um, but I do get improvement with this person but it's going to take a long time to get them to think like you in terms of steady progress they they don't get what you're doing here and although you may have explained what you know like what do you think i'm doing here i'm doing i'm working hard uh, i'm trying to get us stabilized here uh, and this other person does not kind of get this i mean why wouldn't somebody not get that you know um okay so yeah i feel um i have the the uh, high priestess the high priestess is someone who is who also has a strong intuition and this is you aquarius okay a strong intuition over over this because that goes on top of that card there over your, your strong intuition over this earth sign is this earth sign has not got a clue here what you're doing uh what this is about uh what what is this journey kind of thing they don't they don't know they don't get it um i i just feel that you are very kind of dynamic this fall this fall isn't this is where you are a little bit polar opposites here and i get the three of the three of wands you know this person would fail without you because here you are jumping up on that hill there holding on to the tree and looking into the distance you know where can we go where is this going and you've planted your seeds there you know those little trees you've planted your seeds that's your investment that's the investment that you've made here and you're waiting for this investment to bear fruit and you're looking ahead to the future you know you're, you're kind of not even you're taking the lead as, as it is on there's not room on here to to push these cards so um you are you are taking the lead this card underneath your gut feeling is saying this fool has no idea no clue you're carrying the burden here and you're looking at the future you're not looking at how foolish this person is you are looking at your future if that's your own future or this situation here i think this is the you're the only person that can do this okay and i feel that you want justice you want justice for the amount of investment you may have sacrificed a lot for this and you you want to uh justice for this because you have given more than enough unconditional love here unconditional love and also being shrewd at the same time and you want justice you you want to be paid for for the efforts that you put in here now this is where you're sitting in april um it's no bearing fruit yet from this in april but the the you're looking at your investment uh, i feel this is emotional investment here but there's also financial you know stability and 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 creating this security to here and i know you have to deal with this foolish person i get somebody here this this kind of character the, the king of wands sits on the xbox all day uh, possibly watching soccer goes off with the buddies and, and lets you do the running of the show kind of thing 
that is you know and you want your justice so I, I'm you know I am not surprised that you actually want your justice here so let's have a look at the next layer because this is like here it's like uh, like an onion you know it's like uh, pe peeling the layers off so Aquarius um, I'm going to use the good tarot on top of this card okay um, let's have a look at the good tarot very quickly putting some energies of the good tarot here I get the world card the world and that's on top of these ambitions okay and I get um, because you're looking at your ambitions this is creating conflict and tension with this other person here I mean, you know, this person does not get why you, you're ambitious, that you want to create this. Uh, they don't understand, you, you know, they live in the moment on their Xbox and a, a car rallies uh, and that kind of thing. Um, here. And you have to hide this, the moon card. You have to hide this because it's like... You know, you're, you're the Four of Pentacles working hard on this uh, on your investments here and work situation, and you have to hide this because you don't want the backlash from this fool here saying, you know, oh, you don't want you, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Oh, we don't need a new sofa. We don't need a new cooker. That kind of thing here. And if if you're single, this this could be uh, this could actually be a father figure that's never understood why you are ambitious. Why do you want to do that? Why don't you just accept what you've got? And you may say, accept what I've got. I've got nothing. I've got nothing. So I need to do. This. I have to do this. I mean, how stupid of of of, of, of a comment is that? You know. So it may be a father figure always kind of you know these kind of guys they're a little bit sexist that they feel it's the guys um, you know um, it's the guys that should be the one that's the breadwinner and all of this kind of thing and you know whatever I earn whether that keeps us in poverty or whether that keeps us in in a luxury kind of living it's it's my kind of prerogative here how we live but you're not having this okay and you you but you, you know, behind every man, there's a strong woman, and I do believe that. Okay, um, you are rejecting this. You are rejecting this. These, this person, these people, and just, you know, you do. And I would say, have compassion. Yeah, have compassion upon yourself here. You know, you're having to hide your 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 ambitions. Yeah, I do get a fantasy. This person lives in a fantasy world. The fool, okay. The fool lives in a damn fantasy world. And where could you get with somebody like that? So if this is, you know, if you may just even start of dating this person, may not be married to this person, maybe uh, just seeing this person and you want to know where this is going, okay. And they're allowing you to carry this to into a relationship because they haven't got a clue they don't know how to carry this into a relationship and, and you're waiting for them to carry that carry you into this relationship but how are you going to get this fool to do that they haven't got they don't even get this they don't get this okay so let's pull out another card here from the good tarot oh my goodness it's the good tarot as well so we should get some good cards soon. Um, okay, you're trying to... The reason why you hide things here is because you want harmony in, the, in this relationship or in these relationships. You want harmony and, and you want to keep everything positive. And you're juggling the positive and the negative here. Okay. Um... I, th I think this can be relatable to many people because we do fight this struggle here 
of 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 being with um, you know a, a kind of polar opposite, as I said here earlier on. Um, uh, what are you going to do in this situation, Aquarius? Because what do you do? Because this is what's going on in in April. Do you actually cut loose from this, or, or do you keep going with this? Because I I do get you want to keep going with this, but I feel you know you're just going to be. I, what I get is you're just going to be going down, wasting your years, wasting your years on this. This is what I get because this this person is happy with just what they're doing. You know the buddies, the car rallies, and uh, they don't care about about any of this. So I get you may come to a conclusion in April or late in April that you're not going to people please anymore. Um, this is what this card, the seven of air, is you're not going to people please. You're going, you're going to be, uh, be yourself and reject conforming to this uh, lifestyle here. And um, and what I get, this is quite amazing actually, that you're thinking this way, because this is a conflict. This is a conflict, a conflict, as I said right at the beginning, of emotions and being, um, you know, being shrewd. But this is where you are learning, and anybody that's, uh, you know, this this is a new relationship. You are learning about this person with with the Apprentice card, which is the Eight of Earth. You are learning about this person and developing relationship skills here. You are, but this other person is not. I feel again I get like you are waiting for this person to develop this skill but I don't feel this I really don't feel this is what I get April you are waiting for this person because you want justice you've invested it's like um what's what's what did I hear the other day it was like uh really really interesting like uh you are you are the platform for this person to learn for their for their next relationship to succeed do you understand you are the relationship here that this this person will will actually learn from and and it's like uh, this will springboard them to the next relationship I, this is the energies i'm getting here i don't like to say this but you know, it takes um, it takes somebody to grow up for for somebody to say, "Look, I've had enough of this carrying you. Um, you don't get this. You don't want to commit to me. You don't want to um, come on the same road as me. Uh, so I'm done here. I'm done. I don't feel you're done here in April, but I get all these energies mixed together here." Aquarius and I get the air uh, of the ace of air and the ace of air in the good tarot is this is destiny and this is a law of karma and this I get this is for this person to learn to learn and this is forces beyond your own control here for your highest good because you will learn from this too this is not the type of person that I want here. And it's like a, a conflict within yourself here. This other person wants quick kind of snappy results. And uh, they want it with excellence. And they want you to do that for them. Okay. I feel it, it's just not going to happen. Um, well it depends on you really and now i'm just going to finish off with my own deck here uh, which i created which is um spiritual tarot by yvonne and um so let's just pull some cards out here just to finish this reading 
for Aquarius, for April. I feel this is the energies, but there's no kind of uh, decision here. No firm decision in April here. It's it's like, it's very complicated. It is layers and layers here. But I get that, that, that you are heading in this direction. They are heading in this this direction here. Um, there's no depth with this person either. They're very shallow. And I feel when you first met this person, they were a little, they were rather co covertly covert narcissist. They were telling you everything. Oh yeah, I want to do this too. I want to follow you. I, I, I'm with you on this. And, you know, after two years has gone by or after maybe a few months has gone by, this person's gone back to their Xbox, gone back to their car rallies, gone back to their soccer, whatever they do. And this is just, what are you talking about? I never said this. Um, I don't, you know, did I ever say that I wanted to commit to you? Uh, all of this gaslighting here, okay. So let me pull out some cards here. I have to say, uh, Aquarius, why are you being a damn doormat here? You're being a doormat. Um, I don't feel that you realise this, but you may say, "Well, I've got, I've, I, I, you know, I've had a child to this person, and um, you know, I, what can I do?" And uh, I'm trying to make this work kind of thing yeah I get the bear and the bear in my own deck is somebody who's heavy handed uh, this person may even be coming heavy handed and dominating and it's becoming overbearing they may try to dominate you into this stupid shallow situation here that you never intended to be in in the first place okay um and you, you kind of didn't didn't see that kind of, you know, you've got the chocolates, you've got the flowers, and you never saw that side of this person okay. Yeah, I do get heartbreak here. You're heartbroken over the way this has transpired, okay. So I am going to finish this reading here, okay. Um, this is an intuitive reading and you take whatever you want from this um it's not going to like i have to say it's not going to resonate with all of you here um at this stage there's no action but what's under the undercurrents of this situation here and the energies is what i pick up for april for for uh, aquarius here do I stick with this? Do I go? Um, what do I do is continue with this and hope that this person will learn with the apprentice card here. What do I do? I, th I, I do get like uh, this, this bear here will only learn. In fact, I don't feel they will learn because if this person's covert narcissist, as I said, here with this um, fantasy world, going on um, they're not ever gonna learn they won't change okay they're not gonna change and maybe that's why we get the heartbreak card here okay okay Aquarius that's your reading okay it could be uh, a family member it could be uh, as I said it could be a father that's saying this it could be somebody you've dated for a very short while it could be somebody you're married to um, and you know you've taken steps because of their lack, their promises that they've not kept okay so if you'd like your own readings guys um uh, i will put my email address at the top here to so you can give me an email if you're interested in your own personal reading and also um i will put on the top here my website address so if you want to go and read about uh, how I use my intuition and um, and uh, read more, more about it will be on the about page of my website go and have a look okay and also 
there is the fees there and of um, and the tariffs of my readings too. So sending you guys lots of love, lots of blessings, and bye for now. Bye bye.